So the Muslims don't pay jizya? They pay zakat. zakat Excuse me, sir, please listen. Hello, it's a different category. Okay, okay let me ask just you. Like, just like in the UK. In the UK, in the UK, I pay income tax. No. Do you, is there any special category of taxes for the Muslims? Yeah, no. In in the UK, there's people. There's, for example, income tax, and and then there's also um, VAT. Listen to me again. No, no, no. In no, the UK, look, look, no, is there why, why any why special why category of taxes for now? the Muslims? There is no religious distinction in the UK. Good. Right? Note that carefully. Whereas, so what? what does your Quran say? In the Quran, in yeah. an Islamic caliphate, yeah. Yeah. is there a religious distinction? Yeah, absolutely, there is. Good. In other so words, what? in other words, Islamic Caliphate doesn't give as much freedom as you have been given here as a Muslim, which is lovely. Just like non-citizens, no, 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 just, like, just like non-citizens of a secular country don't get as many uh, rights as citizens. British citizens have more rights than non-citizens. So let me let me ask it's you this. It's exactly the same. This is utter nonsense. You're just no, no, you, oh, listen to me. Listen to me. What are you talking about? In an, in an Islamic state. Okay. Let me. Who owned Israel originally? Let, let's uh, we'll, we'll keep it simple. Yeah. If Islam had to come here, if Islam had to come here, how would suddenly I become a non-citizen? If Islam had to come here, how would I suddenly become a non-citizen? The guy tries every trick under the sun. Can you imagine? Can you believe what was going on? He initially tried, oh, or because we paid taxes. And then when I pointed out to the fact that, well, there is no religious distinction when it comes to taxes in the UK, now he goes on to citizenship based distinction. If the caliphate were to come to the UK, how do suddenly Muslims become citizens and non Muslims become, no, no, become becoming citizens? Excuse me, you should be fair. What he said is that there's jizya for non Muslims and zakat for Muslims. Yeah. So both pay taxes. Just like you have non dom uh, paid taxpayers here and domicile tax show. Let me, let me, are you Muslim, sir? No, it doesn't matter what I'm saying. Okay, that's fine. Let me ask wow, you very simple. Yeah. Now you're going to go Let me, let, 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 let me. Uh, now, yes. No, 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 listen, please listen to me. Uh, this is very important. Uh, I said it doesn't matter what I'm saying. I did not say I'm not. Uh, if you're a Muslim, please, please, you're his worst please, enemy. Please, please, what I'm going to say right now is very important. Mm -hmm. Very important. It's Muslim. It what are obvious it differences? Sorry? Please, what are obvious differences? Yeah. What are obvious reasonable differences for us to pursue that? Completely okay. For example, Someone can be a citizen, someone can not be a citizen, an alien who comes in. And that distinction, straightforward, reasonable. For example, you, I might belong to some other nation who might just be visiting the UK, for example. But here, when I'm talking about Islamic State, that is not the distinction made. For example, you might be a citizen today, mm -hmm. but if Islam comes here, tomorrow, suddenly you will have to pay the non-Muslims tax. That is no, not reasonable, is my dialogue. point. You can have a dialogue. No, but, but this is no, 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 no. You, you cannot preach. Let's have a dialogue if you want to have something intelligent to discuss. <laughs> if, you, if this became a Muslim caliphate. Oh today, my God, man. It means that this would be a religious state. Well, well look at him. He's talking to him. So if it's a religious state, you cannot be a member of a religious state without belonging to that religion. Tell him, don't so, in effect, you are no longer a citizen and you will not be treated as a citizen, and you will not be judged under yeah, Sharia right. law right. if you're not a citizen. So, so as a Christian, you should not be judged in other words, In other words, foreigners come, take over, and no, behave no, no, no. like citizens. Wait a second, that is the exact point. Clearly, 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 we don't have Sharia today. They treat you. What, what, excuse me, sir. When you go to the Muslim Just calm down, just calm down. No, no, just calm down. Let him be intelligent. Intelligent, intelligent. Let him do Clearly not for you. Clearly not for you. My point, simply, sir, and this is where my point was, in comparison to today, that's why I began by asking you. So income? Income. As a, remember the example I gave you today, if you are a citizen today, my point is tomorrow, if Islamic Caliphate somehow gets it, comes in, you will, you will not only lose your own land, but you are also going to be treated as a slave in your own land. Who's that is the problem okay. I'm pointing out okay. to. This is, whereas this is supposed to be a homeland. No, no, can I address? <laughs> One of the things that you are, what you are uh, assuming is that if, let's say that the United Kingdom became a caliphate, that oh. it would be something that is external, that is an invasion to take over. But clearly, the caliphate wait, doesn't belong wait, here. Wait, Just wait, one. wait. Do we have let, let him to wait. think. Just now, right? Give him some time to think. Just one. Just one. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs>
Yeah, sure. Okay. Sorry, uh, we, no, we no, start okay. again. Yeah. Let, let, so no, 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 I was saying. If any, one thing, a lot of Muslims here actually make a mistake. In Islam, you're not supposed to crusade and actually uh, enforce, impose Islam on anyone. This is junk. This is junk. No, not in Islam. Tell me what. Can I ask you? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me where it says in the Quran that you should go and impose Islam and run crusades to get people to come to Islam. So how did how did Islam? No, no. I said tell me the Quran. That, that, that's a reference. I'm answering. Let's be Quranists, okay? I'm answering. I'm answering. I want to do I want to do two things. Like I want to look at history first. I want to look at history. First. Not history. History is from human beings. But the reference, can I, please? Can, can I finish? The reference for religion, if I want to discuss Christianity with you, I'll use the Bible as a reference. If I want to discuss Islam with you, I'll use, guess what, the Quran as a reference. That is why I'm asking you. Sure. Tell me in the Quran. Wait, in fact, in the Quran, it says, the verse, it says that before you become a Muslim, you should seek knowledge first. Doesn't matter. You're, you're talking about Mickey Mouse ideas. Practice. Doesn't matter. My point very simply is your your question very simply is you, your point earlier was an absolute junk. I couldn't believe that your point was that Islam was never commanded to leave and come here. No, well, I did not say so that. Please repeat your I point. I did not say that. So please repeat. I say that when your your assumption is that when you create a caliphate is something that is ex imposed externally, but a caliphate can actually be something that starts from the grassroots if enough of the population I'm not I'm not talking can, can I finish if enough of the population just like a democracy if enough of the population convert to Islam then they could create a caliphate they could actually declare that now we want to be a caliphate so let's not confuse politics with uh, religion here so if I if I if I read to you right now if I read to you right now that a caliphate is a worldwide caliphate is supposed to be established established by physical force all over the world, what would you do? Would you leave Islam? Are you, do, you, do you follow Islam? No, it, it, it doesn't matter whether I'm Muslim or not. No, no it doesn't. No, it I'd doesn't. Like to understand. What is your if, 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 if you are making a point out of intellect, not emotion, it should not matter whether I'm Muslim, Christian, Jewish, or even atheist, it should not matter. I'd like to understand your motivation, because that's fine. No, let's, the, mo let's, the, mo let's, the motivation let's, let's is to have intelligent Surah. discussion. So, which includes not being able to hide anything. I am standing no, here as a Christian. No, it's not. If you can't even tell you what your religious no, it's affiliation not. is. Intelligent discussion doesn't need to be so? There's well, no subjectivity. Fine. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, I don't, no subjectivity. I don't, I don't, I don't want to argue. I really don't want to argue okay. against your... Excuse me, sir. You're going to put no, no, I've told you multiple times. Not interested. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Surah, I'm going to read. I'm going to read. I'm going to read to you right now. I'm going to read to you right now a couple of verses, which hopefully you would take seriously. Surah 8, Just little one, sorry, <laughs> apologies, I should, in front of your girl, I should be careful, <laughs> okay. I should treat you kindly, really, because I'm, I'm in a robust conversation, but in front of you, okay, okay, that's fine, I, I have a younger one, I have a younger one than that, uh, but uh, cool, Surah 8, Surah 8, Ayahs 38 and 39, yeah, tell those, Surah 8, Ayahs 38 and 39, tell those who disbelieve, that if they cease, that which is past will be forgiven them. But if they return, then the example of the men of old has already gone. 38, Surah, Ayah, Surah 8, Ayah 38. Now Ayah 39. Oh, let's see. And fight them. Ayat. Ayat. And fight them. Fight them until persecution is no more and religion is all for Allah. Repeat again. Fight them until persecution is no more and religion is all for Allah. Exactly. So let's let's focus on all the details there. Fight them. Yes. Fighting physical violence. Mm -hmm. Fighting physical violence. Yes. Until? Until persecution is no more and, yeah. and religion is all for Allah. I, exactly. So I, I, know, I know you'd like to focus on the persecution. We'll come to that in a little bit. Little bit. Okay, go on. But fight them until, if I were to skip the persecution part alone, I'll return to that in a minute. No, okay. 
fight them until religion is all for Allah. Yeah. So very simply, Muslims have been commanded to fight. No, no, no. You are misreading. Read it again properly. You are making it. You are, you are select, it's selective understanding. It says, and fight them until persecution is no more. Do you know what? And, and, oh. and, and religion of all, is all for Allah. Do, yeah. do, so, do, you, do you know the context of this? Yeah, excuse me, I know the context I've read. Don't yeah, okay. Please, exactly. let's, let's read. Let's read. Now, please, let's read the verse first. And then mm. if you want to expand on the context, you're most welcome okay. to do. Go on then. But let's do that later. The highlight and but, the more, <laughs> uh, you, you can try your luck. No, no, read try it. Try your luck, sir. No, read it. Good luck to you. I'll give you all the time you need. You can try your luck later. But now, coming to you, sir. Mm. Fight until... Fight them until persecution is no more and religion is all for Allah. I'll come to the persecution part in a minute. Mm. But until religion is all for Allah. Yes. In other words, Muslims have been given a mandate to fight until no. religion is all no. for Allah. So no, tell we are, we are, we are misreading that. So what, how would you they, like to read this? They were, they were being persecuted. If you remember, Muslims were being persecuted. Who were, so, uh, sorry, if you remember uh, from where? No, in the times... If you actually look at the whole history of, uh, of Islam, when you had uh, the revelations with Angel uh, uh, Gabriel or Jibril, there were a lot of people who were fighting Islam and who were persecuting Muslims who did not, who did not want uh, Islam to be a popular religion for people to make their own free choices whether they follow Islam or not. And therefore, the Muslims were persecuted for their faith. So let me ask you this. Give me one evidence for claiming that Muslims, one historically valid evidence to claim that Muslims were persecuted when by non-Muslims. When you say the historical, when, when you say historical, do you mean by, by the Quran? Do you know when you the can show the Quran if you want? Do, do, show do, me, do, show do, me one. No, no, no. Show me, show me from the Quran. Show me from the Quran. No, no. Let me ask you a question. Are you telling me that when the uh, Muhammad had to move from place to place with the Quraysh's persecuting him? That was not about Islam. It was just about him actually traveling and trying to spread Ma Islam. Ma so here is where I know I know you have been told a lot of stories. Muhammad, no, I have not. Please listen. No, but you don't know. You can't say you know when you don't know. No, I haven't spoken. Please listen. You no, know, you said I know you've been told a lot no, of please, stories. Please, please, you don't please, know that. Please listen. Please Go listen. On. Yeah. You've given me a part of the story already. No, but I'm saying that please don't, 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 please don't assume. Please you said I have been told. Please I know you've been told. Please That's listen. not right. Please Go listen. On. Okay. Maybe I'll rephrase. I know that there is plenty of Mickey Mouse ideas, fantasy ideas, fictional ideas of who Muhammad is, what happened to him, what happened to early Muslims, how Islam spread at the start, all those sorts of stuff. I know there are plenty of fictional ideas. I am not into fictional ideas. Just him as Jesus. And I, I, yeah. I, no, no, no. I am not into fictional ideas. I want history. And that is where my question to you is, do you, do you, what, what is the evidence? You, clearly, you would claim, you, you're going to claim that Muslims were persecuted. And my question is, what is the evidence that at the origin of Islam, Muslims were persecuted? What's the evidence? Are you talking about historical evidence? Yeah. What I'm trying to tell you is that whether you look at Christianity or Islam, uh, Islam no, no, sir, wait, on, can, can I finish? On the persecution of Muslims. Can I finish? Whether you're talking about Christianity or Islam, there is no historical evidence. Excuse me, don't bring in Christianity. Can I finish? Can I finish? But, but don't can, bring in Christianity. Can I, can I speak? Why do you want to bring in? Can I speak? Okay, go on. You see, the, that's the problem go with on, emotions. On. That's go the problem on. with emotions. Go on, go on. Even if you look at Christianity and Islam, the Bible and the Quran, they are not, there is no evidence that can actually indisputably say that both texts are historically and factually accurate. It's about belief. You get to a stage where it's about faith, that you believe. You cannot say that I've got scientific evidence that can trail everything that is specified regarding the history of Jesus Christ or the history of uh, Muhammad. So when you say, to, when you start talking about fact, historical evidence, then we include Kukulan, because if my, if my grandmother had a beard, she would be my grandfather. That's the kind of thing that we're talking about here. It's not really practical. I, I completely understand that if you're only familiar with Islam in detail, you would completely come to the conclusion that Islam as a religion does not have evidence. I completely understand. What, 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 I what haven't do, finished. What, what, I haven't what finished. if I understand? Both? I haven't finished. 
I haven't finished. Go on. Uh, and so I completely understand. That is your view, possibly, that uh, without no, evidence. Don't, don't assume. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. No, but you assume. If you say I that's finished. your view. I haven't finished. So don't assume. I haven't finished. Mm. I haven't finished. Mm. I heard your point earlier. Now you need to. This is the problem with emotions. You need to now. Yeah, you need to do the same because you were trying to point out to that earlier. The point very simply is I completely understand. With Islam, there is no evidence. I completely understand. You will you will come up with all sorts of cock and bull stories. This is what happened to Muhammad, that happened to Muhammad. People are upset. All sorts of cock and bull stories. I completely understand. But don't even dare to mention that point with Christianity for for Jesus Christ, for the origin of Christianity, for the fundamental building blocks of Christianity. I can give rock solid historical commentary not just from Christians from the first century but also from non-Christians from the first century non-Christian Romans non-Christian Greeks non-Christian Jewish sources for the fundamental building blocks of Christianity from the first century not just Christian my point is if I challenge you to use any resource including the Quran you can use the Quran if you wanted to but if you were if you if you if you Try to build a case that Muslims are persecuted, you will fail miserably. That is my point. The, you know what Quran calls as persecution? Do you know Do you know what it calls as persecution? It's, uh, basically, it's not being allowed to follow their faith. Exactly. So this is not persecution. Essentially, you know, not just that. Not just that. Yeah. Quran explicitly goes on to say, even if I come and reason with you, even if I come and reason with you, it's oppression already. That's what the Quran claims. That because in Islam that is not allowed. Exactly. In other words, you know what the Muslims, early Muslims, according to the Quran, mm. according to examples, uh, according to evidence, you know what uh, uh, Muslims began calling as oppression and persecution? Very simply that people didn't choose to follow Islam and they came up with the coherent, meaningful arguments. They didn't even like that. And that they considered as persecution. As a matter okay. of fact, as a matter of fact, if you were to go through this entire Quran, and this is why I'm going to come back. I completely understand in Islam even reasoning is persecution reasoning against religion is persecution can you can you assert that Muslims were proactively physically uh, violently hurt by any non-muslim no, through you, any historical resource you made a mistake uh, first I need to correct something you said that there is historical factual evidence of Jesus Christ that is not true. And also when you talk about the Bible, in fact, if you, I advise you to actually read the, the books in the Bible, the research on the books in the Bible, whether they're complete, and you compare them with what happened in, in the books that you find in Lala Bella, you find in the churches in Ethiopia today. Because the Ethiopian Orthodox Church has got a history that goes all the way. Even the images of Jesus Christ that you have, that are in Ethiopia, they've been kept, there are people who actually are custodians of that. What was revealed in Russia matched that, not the Bible that you read. If I ask even the Bible that, uh, that have been used today, I'm not going to say that the Quran is authentic or anything either. I'm going to say, that's why I say that there's a lot of faith in both Islam and Christianity. No, no, this is junk. No, 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 let me finish. No, no. You don't uh, give any meat. No, no, you, you are emoting now, you are emoting. You are emoting, listen as well. Don't become emotional. Now, you're, don't I, become, I'm, 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 don't I'm become emotional. Uh, we, don't become we, emotional. Let we, me we finish. Were about, Let me finish. We were don't about become emotional. Particular, Let me finish. Gone all the way don't become else. emotional. Let me finish. Can we focus on don't Surah become, 8:39? Don't, don't become emotional. Let me finish. Surah 8:39. Don't become emotional. Let me finish. Both Christianity and Islam. A, no, um, Surah 8:39. Can I persecution? Do you have evidence or not? Can I finish? No, but you need to give evidence for persecution. Can I finish? Do you have evidence that Muslims were persecuted by non-Muslims? Can I finish? But can you please give me a quick no, answer no, and then expand? No, no. Do you have any evidence for Muslims being persecuted by non-Muslims at the origin of Islam? Can I finish? You can, but give me a quick answer so I know uh -huh. you're going to get there. No, but you cannot tell me how to answer when you actually are free to answer the way you want to. So, but then let's focus on the persecution mm. part. The mm. persecution is where we began. I don't want to go wander away all over the place. Persecution, you claim Muslims are persecuted because I'm focused on the very important aspect okay. that Muslims are being commanded me, to fight. Can, can you just a bit, a bit Fight um, until... Let me see. Yes, please. Maybe you can stop and start. Here. You can stop and start here. This one. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, now it's fine. Sorry. I'm going to find it. it You know, I was talking about the Qureshi. I, I, I find exactly what they did so that we get the actual actions. I, I need the evidence. No, that's what I'm. No, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that when you actually read the, all the things, they talk as if they are historical factual books. So you can only find the evidence within the scriptures of that religion. Absolutely. Please mm. find out any 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 historically tenable resource, any resource that you want to establish as historically tenable. I'm happy with. Okay, if you look at this, I was talking, this is about the Qureshi. As the influence of Islam spread among the clans, the Meccans became hostile to Muhammad's message. Islam represented a challenge to the, uh, it was polytheistic religions actually, not uh, here, monopoly of religion. It was, it was become, because Muhammad came with a, 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 the concept of a unique God. But that's just a claim, I'm asking for evidence. How would you find evidence? You tell me. Okay. What I'm saying is that both the Bible, the Bible. Don't go to the Bible. No, 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 it's go to this. Well, you cannot take it out of context. Excuse me, no, no, no. The context for Islam is not the Bible. No, so no, I'm it is the you same. Simply, if I ask you. You are giving me a story. I like the story. It's, no. it's quite fancy. I'm trying just, to find just out like what the evidence is. This, the, this is just. No, no, but what I'm do saying. Do you have evidence or not? Please. No. Please. Do you have evidence for so, persecution? Who, who, else, who else would actually provide evidence of that period? Other than the people that well, are not not Wikipedia, what is that? I don't hmm? know what that is. Hmm? No, historical resources. Some no, I'm of, saying that for, for example, you can use the Quran if you want to. Hmm? Please use the Quran if you want to. I will not actually be able to find the the, the, the so It's not in the Quran. Right okay, that's no, fine. I just okay. Yeah, that's evidence. The, when you put together sorry. the details of the Quran, please explain to me how we can come to the conclusion that Muslims were actively persecuted, proactively persecuted by non-Muslims, physically violence. No, 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 persecution it doesn't have to resort to physical violence. Some no. level of persecution. Whatever yes, you call as persecution. persecution, please tell me. Hmm? Maybe your plants. Sorry? I put me your plants. <laughs> <laughs> and you know fasting day. This is in the uh, this this would be in the uh, in the hadith, not in the in, in the Quran. I'd have to find. I, I can give you some insight if you like. I've gone through the Quran multiple times. I can give you some insight if you like. Who mummy? Who hmm? mummy? Why? Uh, ask a friend. <laughs> I cannot find it right now, but I can find somebody. No problem. I, 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 can, I, I can tell you, I can tell you very, 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 so, you know, I, I've, I've gone through the Quran multiple times mm. and I've prepared, a, a prepared extensive notes and I'm even writing a book on how Islam began according to the Quran. Plenty of historical details actually hidden here. Mm. And what I can tell you very honestly is that clearly, clearly Muslims who have contributed to the text here clearly claims that Muslims were persecuted, clearly mm. oppressed, persecuted, but if you actually carefully get to the details of what was happening, very simply, it was people trying to reason them out of Islam that they considered to be persecution and oppression. No, there was hostile action and the ostracization 
and uh, in, in the community, those are also actually. Please, please. By the way, can, can please, I? Can I, I, please, can, I, 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 I can, can I? Can I? Let me finish my no, previous no. point. Okay. My point, very simply, is I know you'd like to assert a few more things. My point is, my point is, please don't assert anything unless you can provide evidence. Evidence is king. Otherwise, I like you have been quite good so far. No, you no. You have been no. trying to be reasonable okay. so far, but that is where I want to take it to the logical conclusion. Without evidence, an idea is a fiction. And can my I... point simply is, you can go through the entire Quran. Muslims weren't persecuted. The Quran does call, does say that Muslims were oppressed and persecuted. And that is only, when you go through the details, only because people were trying to reason them out. And the Muslims didn't like it. Beyond this, there was nothing which we would normally call persecution. Can I, can I ask you? Can I, no, I no, but you're preaching now. You, you're going on and on. This. No, no, but just finish this. Give me a chance well, to respond just, to that. Absolutely. Just finish this and then you can. Just one, ten 10 okay. seconds. And so my point is very simply, when it says fight them until persecution is no more, they are purely saying fight them until no one tries to reason you out of Islam and religion is all for Allah. That is all that it means. Okay. Can, can I ask a question? And so my point would be no, fight no, I, them on. Now it's going, until it's gone, religion uh, is all for Allah. Gone, Please, go on. Session. Please go on. Uh, what is your understanding of the relationship between the Quran and the Hadiths? The Hadiths is just fantasy fictional ideas from a no, very no, in terms In terms of uh, Islamic belief, what is your understanding of what Islamic how Muslims... Islamic belief doesn't matter. It, I'm saying it doesn't I'm, matter. You know, you're asking me, what, mm. what is my... Okay, so if you question... What okay, is your understanding? In a, from in a Muslim context, Islamic context, what is the relig the relationship between the Hadiths and the Quran? So, let me answer. But I'm going to I'm going to give two answers. Yeah, please. I, I need to provide clarity here. I I genuinely understand that different kinds of Muslims, unless they are Quran only Muslims, different kinds of Muslims think that Hadiths in their various forms, you know, various books, Sunni, Shia canonical, non-canonical, they think that a portion of that, yeah, believe, believe, yeah, believe that a portion of that is historical. They, uh, they uh, represent what really happened centuries before, even though the literature were written down centuries later. That's what they believe. I completely understand. But in my careful analysis, it doesn't, the claims, the beliefs are merely fantasy beliefs. They don't have credibility for various different reasons, for various... One of them is very importantly, even the Quran denies, Quran denies plenty of the claims of the Hadiths. So all the building blocks of Islam, the Quran denies. Muhammad, Quraysh, and Arab, pagan Meccan Arabs, all sorts of stuff. The Quran actually denies when you go through the details. And that is what, one of the points is where, what I was trying to use as an example. The Quran does record oppression of Muslims, persecution of Muslims in multiple places. It does record, it does record. Every single time, if you go and read through it carefully, you would either find that essentially Muslims proactively attacked others and others were responding, either that or, or Muslims were, non-Muslims were simply trying to reason Muslims out of Islam. This is what is called in the multiple places in the Quran. And so the Quran itself stands against this idea that non-Muslims proactively attack the Muslims. So I consider hadiths to be complete myths, fictional stories. So, uh, so in your understanding, Muslims only should only only believe in the Quran. They do not believe in the hadiths. Or are you saying that Muslims believe in both the, the Quran and the hadiths in some shape or form? I, I, I genuinely think Muslims should cease being Muslims because no, 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 I'm not I'm not talking about whether they should. I'm talking about your understanding of Muslims yeah. and the Islamic religion. Do you understand it that Muslims should only believe they only believe in the Quran they are this are totally out of question? Or do you believe that Muslims have to believe both the Quran and the Hadith? Well, let me put it this According way. to their faith. I mean, Muslims, I mean, they, Muslims then choose to believe in Harry Potter story. Who, I mean, who cares? I'm talking, I'm talking about your understanding I of the we faith. About, you know, no, 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 no. Remember this listen, talk, you listen, said intellectual no, no, conversation. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is that I'm you, talking about intellectual no, you're being facetious. You're being facetious now. Um, what I was asking is that you, for instance, if you ask me, what are the foundations of the Christian belief? I'll tell you that the foundations of the Christian belief are embodied in the Bible. That's the, not the point. No, no, the point can, I, is, can I finish? The, but can you, I need finish? To, you need to no, get back to an intellectual no, conversation. The, 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 the problem that I have here with engaging 
people that are fanatical? Is that it's very difficult to reason? You know what fanatical behavior is? When something has been established as a myth, to still hold on to that, that fanatical behavior. So no, I'm that, simply that, that, suggesting. That's what I'm that saying. Later day. No, but but you, 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 the way you are responding, I'm sorry to say, is you're emoting. I ask you a simple question. Wait, see, you see exactly that. Persecution. You see exactly that. You couldn't show evidence. <laughs> you couldn't show but, evidence but the thing is that it's, 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 it's very difficult to engage if you cannot listen. I and listen here. to you all See, the time. How can you listen and talk at the same time? Look, I'm asking you. No, but how, without wait, evidence, wait, you like to believe wait, something? wait. How can you listen and talk at the same time? I listen to you one more no, time. No, you don't. And then I'll, I'll no, come back don't. to my previous point. You do not. Please go on. What are the foundations of the Christian belief? It's the Bible. Do you understand? Do you agree with me that the Bible is the scripture which forms the foundation of the Christian belief? Okay. Let me. Let me. Uh, no, no. Ask a simple question. Is it yes know, or no? I know. I know you asked question, but you completely avoided the previous discussion altogether. So I'd like to make sure. I'd like to make sure we are doing justice to the conversation we were trying to have. No, no. Let, please, let's establish that. Please, please, please listen to me carefully. Let, let's establish. Would you like to have an intellectual conversation? No, 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 no. Oh, would you like to have a no, you are religiously right. indoctrinated conversation? No, no. What would you like to have? No, you are. You, you are the one. You the one who's going off. Of, of course. Would you like a religious conversation or an no, intellectual I would like, conversation? No, I, I, I would like an intelligent discussion intelligent and discussion then, an intelligent discussion is where an we appreciate when there is no evidence you for something talk and listen at the same time. i know and this is where you, you need to listen no, right but you are, you are and this it. is where you need you to listen right again now. my point very simply is no you, you are doing it again yeah, my, my point no, my, no no listen first my, you need no no listen first. I listen to you no no, no listen no you do not listen to you earlier you do not no my point no my point no you did not listen first would you like to have a conversation listen first listen first you see the volume of your words does not imbue power and Thank veracity you. in the world. Can we get back to the no, conversation? No, 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 I said, your understanding of Islam, Islamic faith, are the scriptures that form the foundation of the Islamic uh, faith, the Quran and the Hadith, or none of the two, or one of the two? Okay. I ask you that simple question. Very good. Let me, uh, let me answer you in, in the broader context of us trying to have an intelligent conversation. Mm -hmm. If you would like to be intelligent, which is what I'd like for you to be, I would like to comment to you that you follow whatever religion but only based on evidence not based on later day myths and so you tell me you tell me if there is no evidence for persecution of muslims or the muslims of the origin of islam by non-muslims if you want to be intelligent not just in our conversation right now but also generally in life would you ever want to go around thinking that muslims were persecuted when there is no evidence whatsoever can you answer my question now? I know. You're now struggling right now. Please, no, no. Focus. Can you answer my question first? Emotions, no, we need to keep aside. No, he hasn't answered my question. Emotions, we need to keep aside. Answer my question and then I'll answer your question. You need to answer my question and then I'll answer You need to keep emotions just, away. I said, answer my question and then answer your question. Now you're being a little bit like a child. Please. No. You need to focus like an adult. No. We moved on. We started where where we were reading 839. Answer my you question. You claimed there was a persecution. I asked you if there is evidence. When you struggle to and provide I'm, evidence, I'm leading you're now to that. talking about... I'm leading to that. No, we are not leading to anything. We want to get back to the conversation at hand. So can you answer my question first? Let me ask you this. It's a simple question. Give you one Is last it yes chance. or no? I'll give you one last chance no. and then I'll move away. Do you have any evidence? No. Do you have any evidence that early Muslims were persecuted by non-Muslims? Any evidence whatsoever? It's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that you want to come as this uh, as, as engaging in an academic or world research. Do you have uh, well, any evidence whatsoever? You see, that's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. The thing is that if you do not know the premise of Islam, but you want to it argue the veracity, look, you no, you can't. Argue, you can't discuss Thank Islam you if you don't actually know the basics. I'll remind you, you something. You can't. One second. You can't. One second. Please listen to me. One second. Did you earlier remember that there was a great gentleman who was standing here who made a marvelous statement saying to examine the veracity of this religion, I don't even have to know your religion. Do you remember that? 
Uh, maybe I wasn't here, I can't remember. You are the gentleman who told me that you don't even have to tell me what religion you follow while we are trying to discuss facts. No, that's not, that's not the... I, that's hey, not weren't, about, you, weren't you, you that you, No, no, no. You now said, you're struggling. Please, no. Can I, can, can, I, can I answer? Look. Please I'm quiet. Let me speak. No, no, no. Let me, 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 let me speak. I was trying I to said, make a I said, point. I said, I said this. You asked me what is my religion. Yeah. I said to engage in any intelligent discussion or exactly. the, examine the veracity of a religion. I, you, I do not have, you do not have to know exactly. what religion I follow. Completely. That's my right. religious faith. faith has nothing to do with the veracity sure. of anything. Good. Stick to the same argument. Yes. Your religious faith. Yes. Or the religious faith of any number of Muslims. Of have, anyone. I am speaking right now. Please stay quiet. Mm. Of any number of Muslims is irrelevant when we are trying to have an intelligent conversation about what really happened. Because for what really happened, I don't care what Mickey Mouse stories you or anyone else believes in. And that is where my point to you is. Very simply, I'm going to return to what I was talk, talk, talking about earlier. Do you have any evidence whatsoever? I completely understand when going through the Quran, there is plenty of evidence that Muslims, as recorded in the Quran, were shedding crocodile tears. I completely understand. When non-Muslims were trying to reason them out of Islam, they said, oh, we are being persecuted. Oh, so people are oppressing us. I completely understand. That was happening, which is not what we would call persecution. We would call that reasoning. I'm going to ask you, beyond this, do you have any evidence, any credible evidence that early Muslims were persecuted at the time of the origin of Islam at the hands of non-Muslims? Do you have any evidence at all? The problem is that um, as much as you want to get answers to your questions as direct answers, you don't seem to have the capacity to be uh, engaged honestly, and also respond to questions that are posed to you. I asked you a simple question. I said, according to your understanding of Islam, a Muslim, is a Muslim supposed to believe in both the Quran and the Hadiths, or neither of them, or one of them? And you refuse to answer that question. Because if you answer that question, you'd find the answer to your question. Because the idea that everything about the Islamic faith you find in the Quran is misguided. The idea of the Hadith is to add and supplement and explain things that may not be clearly understood in the Quran. When you talk about persecution, you would actually find that when they look at persecution, they are actually looking at persecution from not only uh, the Quran actually says that persecution, but in terms of the definition of persecution and what actually happened you actually find those things in the supplementary uh, 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 Islamic scriptures, which are the Hadiths. But you do not want to actually accept that because you know where I was going with that. So what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is that you may choose to understand persecution in your own way because of your, your goal, what you want to prove. But if you actually read in the entirety of what the people who actually believe in that faith believe in as reference scriptures, you'd find that is actually more than your definition of what persecution is. Sure. In other words, you simply do not have any credible, valid historical artifacts to really suggest that Muslims, no, no emotions, please, let me finish, that Muslims were persecuted by non-Muslims at the point of origin in the way we would understand persecution. You simply haven't got any evidence whatsoever. What you rather believe in are myths and fantasies and Mickey Mouse stories which were written down centuries later and you're going to tell me that you want to believe in them and that is your only basis. So thank you very much. I completely can I ask understand. A question? Can no, I, ask I completely understand. No, can I ask a question? I, no, no, let me. I, have, I completely understand. I completely understand even though you began to okay. want to have an intelligent conversation, clearly you are at a loss right now. No longer you want to have an intelligent conversation. Now you want to have a conversation based on myths and fantasies and your emotional belief statements which i am not interested in so i have to i no, have to stop okay, the conversation okay, right okay, now okay, and then. simply say please no. you just need so, to please you just need to take where you started no. that same mindset all the way
and really need to give up on fantasy ideas. Thank you very much. Your, your, your own, your, to see you. your own you. faith. I'm not interested okay. in your own faith. Anything other than intelligent conversation. If you actually if you dismiss what Muslims believe in as their but you wanted me to dismiss that. No, no, no. I did not. Say, I said. You it, said I don't can, can know I finish? what you're Can I finish? No, I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you want? You want me? He's one of the serious fanatics. You may you want to take your mythical ideas seriously? No. So hadiths are mythical and the Quran is mythical. Yeah, hadiths are mythical to you. Well, you tell me. Do you know when the earliest of the hadiths? Were no, 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 I'm saying that. Do you know when the earliest of the hadiths were written? You can't, you can't answer a question. You can't, you can't. Do you, you know when the earliest of the hadiths can't answer a question. Just see, you like to ask. Do you know can't. when the earliest of the hadiths were written? Maybe can't. you don't know. No, but you can't answer a question. You, you cannot know when the earliest no, but, but, of the hadiths were written. You down. cannot answer a simple question. Answer, do you know when the earliest of the hadiths were written? My question is simple. My question is that do Muslims believe in the hadiths? That's the question. I don't care. Do you know when the earliest of the hadiths If you don't care, then don't discuss this now. Then don't discuss this now. Go, go, go. Oh, sorry.